Hello and welcome back to the Really Podcast. Today we have the Halloween special, though that's why I'm in Halloween costume instead of like how I normally look. And today we have Mrs. Allen and Mrs. Kirkland today. Would you like to say hello? Hi, welcome. I'm Will Ray Riding Hood today. Yep, and I am uh, the best player in baseball, Mike Trout. And I'm supposed to be a magical, mystical type of butterfly. This is my wings. I haven't put them on. So. I love it. You're so shiny. Your face, it looks beautiful. It's just full of different things. Like stars. And you made that costume, correct, Cindy? I didn't make the wings, though. I was making the wings, and what happened was it didn't fully finish before the time, so just used my backup wings. <laughs> Always have a plan B. Yeah. I did make some other wings. If you want to see them, I can bring them. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll be back. Awesome. I love all of Sam. Let me see if I can go look at Oh, oh that's really cool. That is amazing. Those are beautiful. That looks like stained glass. I painted it. Wow. wow. Oh, this one. That's that super so cool. Meanwhile, I can't even like draw stick figures to save my life. I have both wings. It's for my baby sister. I made it for her. For her. She was going to be a butterfly. We are all going to be butterflies. Cindy, love- you're making me feel bad. I was saying that I had to go and buy a butterfly costume last minute for my baby. And you said you <laughs> spent all that time making a butterfly costume. That's awesome. That's really I cool. liked it. I was painting yeah, and watching a bunch of movies and was painting. I love your Halloween background too. Yeah, it was for the Halloween party. Some of the things fell. It's fine. Looks great. So tell us about the Halloween, the elite Halloween party. It's our first Halloween party that you, uh, you were the one, the mastermind behind it. Tell us how it went. It was, it was great. A lot of people, I think they enjoyed it. The people enjoyed it. And then, um, there was a lot of kids and we played, first we played Would You Rather, and then we played Guess Who. We really liked it. There was some very funny. It was hard. Guess who was hard? I made it hard on purpose. It was like a vampire who's allergic to blood. <laughs> of, um, a mummy. And, uh, you know, a zombie who lost his hand. Different things like that. And then we also, we, we made our own dance moves. Some people made their own dance moves. And then we danced. And we played freeze dance. Where I would play the music and then they would stop. Uh-huh. And then... That was one of my favorite things to do with a kid is free dance. It's fun. And we also um, did um, like, we just did dancing and then we did our sp- uh, spooky stories. We had people read spooky stories. And then some people wanted to dance at the end. And it went very well. And then we announced the winners and everything. That's pretty amazing. Are you excited about this Halloween? Yeah. Does it feel different than other Halloween since it's COVID Halloween? A little bit. I usually don't go trick or treating, so it's not a lot very different. It's just a couple things are different. Oh, last year, I didn't dress up for last year, so it's this year I dressed up. And last year I didn't dress up because I didn't have time to. Yeah, it does take a lot of time and effort. I mean, especially if you're going to make beautiful wings like you made. Things like that. <laughs> that took a lot of time to make. Everything. I also made my other sister's wings, but they're a lot bigger and pink. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So um, the costume that you have now, is that your favorite Halloween costume that you've had so far? Or do you have a favorite from the past? My favorite costume would probably be when I was in um, seventh grade. This is when I was went to a brick and mortar school. Well, I would I dressed as Cindy Lou. Well, <laughs> Cindy Lou who, since like Cindy Lou is my name now. I dressed as Cindy Lou who, and I just had the hair and everything, and her dress and the pants, everything, and I just loved it so much. <laughs> I was like, that was my favorite. I always wanted to dress like her. I was thinking of dressing like her again. You should. I love probably Cindy. next year. I was named after her, so. I think my favorite Halloween costume was when I was probably like nine. And I don't know if you know who Pippi Longstocking is. Oh, yeah. And she had freckles and red hair and little buck I love her. 
I used yeah. to watch her. And I looked just like her when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So my mom put uh, my hair in two braids and then we put wires in it. So it was, so it was like this where her hair is like, mm -hmm. I, that's like that. And then she had a pet monkey named, who was the, Nelson was the horse, I think. I forget the monkey's name. She had a monkey and lived in like this house with all her father because her father was like a sailor. Yeah. Yeah, I watched it before. It was, I, I loved it. So good, right? Yeah. So I put a little monkey on my shoulder. And I remember I was walking down the street and a little girl stopped and said, oh, Pippi, because she thought I was really Pippi Longstocking. And like that memory stuck with me forever because I literally for a long time thought I was really Pippi Longstocking after that moment. <laughs> that is so awesome. I, um, so I don't know if you guys have seen A League of Their Own. It's um, a movie with, you know, Tom Hanks and Rosie O'Donnell. Um, but it's about like the first women's professional baseball league. Um, and it's kind of like a cross between, you know, like it's based on true events, but it's also kind of funny. Um, but it was, I mean, like, it's definitely one of my favorite movies now, but of course, like back when I was younger, um, it was like one of my ultimate favorite movies. And so I dressed up as a Rockford peach, which, which is, um, the name of the, one of the baseball teams. Um, but they had skirts as, you know, their uniform because they were trying to, uh, you know, appeal um, to the masses and everything like that back in the, I think it was the 30s or the 40s. Um, but yes, of course, so I had that costume. I loved it. I would have like worn it any other time besides Halloween. Um, but that's definitely my favorite costume that I ever wore. That's such a good movie. Have you seen that movie, Cindy Lou? No, I haven't seen it before. Oh, you're going to have to watch it. Yeah. See? Stick with us and you'll learn some things. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this Halloween is just, of course, so different than other Halloweens in the past. Um, with, you know, the social distancing that's still in effect and everything. Um, so we were talking about if you had any ideas for, like, COVID-friendly ways to give out Halloween candy. I have one way and I actually brought it to show you. So this is a, um, popstick, right? But you know, when you go and you get Chinese food take out and they always give you chopsticks and you always end up throwing them in your drawer because you're like, Oh, I'll need those one day. So we have a bunch of those. So we have chopsticks and a rubber band and then candy. And then what we're gonna do is tie a little ribbon to make it cute, you know, presentable. And then we're sticking these in our front yard. And so we oh. have like over a hundred of them. So when the kids walk by, they can just pick it up and take it with them. So that is I such it was more a great idea. Creative than having them just sitting a bowl out in the front door. Plus the kids would all run and mingle at the front door. So this way they can just take it out of our yard and they have a bunch of candy. That is so cool. Do you know of like, is your neighborhood doing that? Is that like a thing? So our neighborhood has a neighborhood of Facebook page and I saw somebody else wrote, they were asking, are you sending your kids out? Because that family created a six foot, it's almost like a candy slide. So somebody has a six foot pipe that they made that oh, is I saw that. I saw that. Like, driveway and when the kids come up they're shooting the candy down for the kids to grab and another one that my neighbor just said today they were putting a table out with candy on it and then standing six feet from the table so that they can at least see everyone's costumes and talk to them and have fun that way without you know breaking the social distance rule so lots of different creative ideas have you seen any cindy lou or can you think of any other? I, I saw what you're talking about with the pipe. I saw that was someone doing it like that. But I haven't seen any other ones. Um, no, I don't have any ideas about it. I was thinking maybe like um, what the other person thought about the pipe and putting it down the pipe. Maybe if they leave like candy like in the driveway and everyone just comes and gets one. Like, um, they just come to the driveway and get candy from like this. Like usually some people, you know how don't 
like when people knock on the door yeah. they just leave it outside i was thinking maybe like that but then i don't know i don't know if that would work i was i was thinking and this obviously could be a little bit dangerous when you have little ones um the parents would have to step in maybe but do something like a i don't know like a um you know, at games or anything like that, they have that little gun that shoots out the t-shirts or yeah. anything like that. So you could have some type of contraption like that to where they like shot out the candy and they would have to try to make it in the bucket. Or I mean, just like tossing it, you know, like you could have, you could be kind of a certain distance away and then toss the candy and then it's a game. You know, the kids have to try to make it in the bucket. Obviously if they're younger, that could like pose, um, you know, a safety risk, but <laughs> so the parents might have to step in, but like teenagers or, you know, like when they're a little bit older, I think it'd still be fun too, you know, like kind of making, um, it a little yeah. bit different. Cause part of the fun of trick or treating is going up to the door and kind of seeing, who's on the other side and, you know, mingling with them and talking with them. So kind of still being able to interact in that way um, with the person giving the candy would, would be fun, I think. Yeah. You also want people to see your costume, especially like if you're like Cindy Lou and you created your own costume and spent so much time on it. Yeah. That was the whole, that's like the fun part of Halloween too, is showing off your costume to everyone. Yeah. Definitely. Cindy Lou, are you, um, what are your plans for Halloween and for trick-or-treating? Are you doing something with your family? Well, I never usually go trick-or-treating where I live. There's not houses in my street. It's mostly just like businesses. And there's, they're building houses next to my house, but there's also like a community for old people, well, for seniors. And so there's not really, um, places to trick-or-treat we would have to drive so I'm not going trick-or-treating I didn't go trick-or-treating before the last time I went trick-or-treating was a long time ago because I don't usually go trick-or-treating but I was thinking maybe just um celebrating with my family eating candy I was gonna say you know before we head out here I see all of that candy what yeah, is all on the chair but can I show you tell me which one is your favorite Okay. Oh, and then yeah. there's on the other side. I don't know if you. Oh no. Oh. That. What? It's a clown. I'm so scared. Ashley missed it. That was oh, her. That was her prop at the Halloween party. Oh my god. It was my oh, dancing so partner at the Halloween party. For at the beginning, I did think that it was an actual person. I thought because I know she has siblings. I thought maybe it was her sibling in a costume. But then she was maneuvering it like so I was like okay that's <laughs> that is creepy oh I bet you had all sorts of people looking at your zoom uh profile right there with that creepy little guy yeah yeah it was my dancing partner <laughs> and I you know of course the whole point well not the whole point but one of the points of going trick-or-treating is to get candy so when you have all of the candy that you need it right there in your room you're good to go <laughs> But you gotta tell us, Cindy Lou, what's your favorite candy? My favorite candy is not here, but my favorite candy is caramel candy. I just love caramel candy. Anything caramel. But my favorite candy here would probably be Kit Kat. Kit Kat's a good one, for sure. My favorite candy is in the shop, peanut M&M's. I could live off of peanut M&M's if oh, my body yeah. allowed it. I would, I mean, I get like the share size, you know, there's no sharing here. Yeah. Um, I like the, um, I can't have peanuts, but I like the, have you ever had the pretzel M&Ms? Where they have um, little pieces of pretzel inside, so it's salty. With the, I've never uh, had those before. I've never oh, seen them before. They're in a blue package. They're pretzel M&Ms. You'll have to search out for them. Just look for i never seen them in the store before. Oh, yeah. Next time, if I see one in the store, I'm going to mail it your way, Cindy Lou. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for sharing all of your Halloween um, party details with us and favorite memories some favorite candy and your creepy little guy that you have in the corner there. Over there. Oh, wait. Down there. He's just sitting there relaxing. <laughs> He's been dancing too long. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much, Cindy. And um, for those of you watching, we will be um, dropping a episode next week 
with Tom Olson, our adventure lead, and he talks all about um, Elite's CTE Adventure Academy as well as our Nature Connection Club. So um, we hope you enjoyed this Halloween episode, and we will talk to you next yeah. week. Say bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> say bye-bye. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween, everyone. Bye-bye.